Welcome back to Minifig Monday. This one's gonna be kind of cool because this is actually me. Well, technically, because this is either, well, it's Zenith. He's my custom um, avatar, actually. So I've been wanting to show him for a long time. He's in the channel. Um, he's been on the channel um, picture for the longest time. And I've shown Sweet Mayhem. I've shown Boba Fett. But I haven't shown myself. So this is the first time that I'm really looking at my avatar here. Sorry, it took so long. But um, I just wanted to cover other characters first. So... Yeah, here I am, or Xanderland Studios, I guess. That's, like, the name of the channel, right? But this is Zenith, Z-E-N-I-T-H. So that's how you spell it. And I came up with that name, yes, and it's amazing. So let me give you 360. You can see me here. This is not my first appearance, actually. This is or Zenith's first look, actually. This is his season three look? Uh, I can't remember. It's either season three or four. I think it's season three. So way back when I was younger, I would do these little mini episodes where I would um, like kind of act out and role play different adventures with uh, minifigures and stuff. And I don't have him here, but my first figure was very different. He had like a different suit with combed hair, no beard some glasses. It was an interesting look. So that was way back in season one, but now we're in season three where a bunch of other characters like Rinsler and Jafar and, um, I don't know, Zuckus, Samus, uh, Red Hood, a bunch of new characters can now show up. Um, so that's cool. I, I might do episode, I think I might do, um, I might go into the lore of my story like my universe a lego universe sometime i'm thinking about it but here am i uh here uh yeah so here i am sorry <laughs> speaking like yoda for a minute um so i do have two accessories or zenith does um there's a of course a, a wand that's from the potter verse if you're a fan you'll know what that means and it's in brown, looks great. And the other accessory is a little bit more interesting. It's actually a tile with a very old print on it. So this is a very old piece. Um, it's been around in my collection for a long time and I wanted to use it and that's my phone, which looks a little weird, but it's like uh, an old school looking phone there. So that's what that is. I don't come with any other accessories because I'm, in my universe, I'm known as the most powerful minifig in the galaxy so that's my moniker although i don't go by it anymore uh, because everyone already knows it by this point so yeah i do have the han solo hair the newer version of that in brown it kind of matches my hair mm. if it was more of a i don't know if it was darker i think it would match but it matches fairly well i do have a beard actually that Sometimes I have a beard. I used to have it a lot in real life, but I just kind of slowly gone away from that. Um, it doesn't look as good as I as I would have hoped. Um, but this head is actually from Norrington from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. Somehow I got the head and I just used that for him. Uh, so that's cool. I do have a trench coat. You'll recognize this outfit from Newt Scamander from the Fantastic Beasts line. Uh, from the CMF series. That's cool. The only uh, the only Harry Potter themed character I got, unfortunately. I do stand by this, though. If Lego Star Wars had never existed, I would buy every single Harry Potter set. Because I'm a big fan. I just can't afford all the Harry Potter sets and all the Star Wars sets I want. So I gotta pick one theme. So Star Wars is that theme. Because it's my favorite um, universe. But, again, if LEGO Star Wars wasn't a thing, the, all the Harry Potter sets would be in my collection by now. Um, but obviously LEGO Star Wars is a thing. So that hasn't happened, unfortunately. Um, but, okay, let's see. There's not a lot of detail to my figure, I guess, in the torso, mostly. But uh, compared to other minifigures, I don't have a lot of detail. It's more just like what you see. 
but I do really like the dark blue trench coat and the brown um, undercoat. And that's that color right here is a like a nougat color. That's cool. The shirt underneath. But there's like a pocket watch and there's like a little creature. I forgot the name of that. I apologize. And there's also a button up shirt underneath that. So lots of shirts on shirts there. Not much to the legs, but there is some detail on the back. It's a little, it's really hard to see, but you can see it now because it's like dark blue. You can see the back of the coat, nothing too special, but there is um, dual multiple legs. So that's cool. You might be able to see a little bit of the alternate face, maybe? No, that's my eyes playing tricks on me, sorry. I do have two faces, of course I do, because double-sided faces are my favorite concept. So, I do have this one face where I am happy, you know, cheerful, upbeat. But of course, when my arch nemesis Darth Kadakis shows up, then I get a little ticked off. And that's the alternate face where I'm very angry, or not angry, I'm more like grumpy, that, uh, that Kadekas shows up again. He's my most persistent enemy, uh, definitely. Out of all the enemies I have, he is the one that uh, hates me the most. So yeah, that's a fun backstory. And uh, you'll see him in a Minifig Monday coming up. So I'm going to keep a little bit of mystery around Darth Kadekis so you can get to know him soon. So let me um, put the hair there. So that's what that looks like. So yeah, again, not much to talk about. Um, it's just not much to say. There's just not a ton of detail. But that's fine because I go for the simpler look anyway. Uh, the wand is cool. That is from the newer Harry Potter sets. It's a new piece that they introduced. It's amazing. It's awesome. The new Harry Potter sets are just phenomenal. I probably will cover their analysis somewhat soon. Because I, I, I'm, I'm not going to get any of the sets, but um, I just, I just want to talk about them. Because they're so great. So I am a big Harry Potter fan. Um, let's see. This is interesting. Oh, geez. Oh, just fall over. This, this is the printed tile, and it's very old. You can, you might be able to tell because it is, um, it's, uh, that's not a crack, but it's, it's just really scratched up. It's an old piece. I don't know where it came from, but I know it's old because it is. Um, but trust me, if you look at it, it's very old. But I'm glad that it's not cracked or anything because I hate cracking pieces. I, I hate that. You guys know customer service helped me out the last year because I just despise cracks. I hate it. It's the worst thing about minifigures is when they crack, they're done. And you have to get a new one, which sucks. It just, oh my, I, I just despise that. But anyway, let's keep it positive here. Let me just put that on the ground there because, uh, yeah. Um, this version is really good. Again, you guys are most used to seeing this character next to Boba Fett over here. Let me get Sweet Mayhem. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get up for just a minute so I can get her. She's over here. Okay, hold on. Give me a minute. There we go. That's all three of them in the same shot. That's what I like right there. That's the channel logo. So, Sweet Mayhem on the on the left, Boba Fett on the right. My two favorite figures. So, yeah, that's what that looks like. I couldn't keep them on the on the screen for very long cuz they're just floating. Um but yeah, I love my custom uh figure. I definitely plan to do a season 4 version soon. So, that'll be kind of fun. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for that, but it's going to be pretty good. And this figure means a lot to me. I've had him built for quite a long time. And it's definitely my most special uh, custom minifigure. Well, aside from Samus. Let me let me show the Samus one. It's it's pretty good. I like her design. So this is my custom Samus to Aaron. My favorite Nintendo character. There she is. Um. So yeah. 
that's that's me that's zenith or you know xander whichever one you want to say it's the it's one of the two so there's just not much to say sorry about that um uh it's just compared to other figures there's just not much to really talk about but i really love this figure and i'm not gonna ever change the channel logo i don't think it's just gonna say the same because i finally came up with a good version of it. i think i might switch it up eventually like for different times of the year like maybe i might want to take a um like an updated photo of them together maybe that would be cool but sometimes the channel logo will change it just depends but now you've seen all three of the figures uh on the channel you've seen them um covered individually so that's what i wanted to do and I think I might do a story time episode um, with me explaining why I picked these three characters. Because that would be kind of cool, I think, for people that, you know, just come to the channel and they're brand new. You may not know the history of these three characters. So uh, that could be interesting. But thanks for watching. I hope you liked this one. Sorry if it was kind of short, but again, there's not really much else to say for this figure compared to other ones but um i hope you liked it you'll see darth kadekas soon i gotta get him out but he'll be in another he'll be in one of these soon so yeah if you're wondering who my nemesis is you'll see him uh sometime but um yeah more minifig mondays guaranteed and um yeah that's about it for this one so I hope you like this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this figure? Do you not? Um, let me know. And thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Have an awesome day. And stay tuned for more videos.